Coming up, V drive to S. A little bit of TLC. And lift off. Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to replace the TCT or the timing chain tensioner in the Honda S2000. This is a very common failure and I believe everybody should know how to repair or replace the TCT. So let's get started. There's going to be nine easy steps to follow through to accomplish this. Before we start, let's take a look how we can diagnose the issue. First, we can see that there are oil spills coming out of the TCT. And the second way to know is you get the famous TCT sound. Now let's remove the air box. Uh, this will give you a little bit more space to work and, and be able to access the timing chain tensioner. Uh, I will post a link to a video where I will show in detail how to remove the air box and reinstall it. Right now we're just going in fast motion to get to it and as you will notice I needed to clean out I guess a pest or something got into my the car that's sit outside more than it should. To remove the TCT, you will need 3H ratchet, 10mm socket, 8mm hex socket, short extension, paper towels or a rag. So let's place the rag underneath the TCT as there will be oil that will exit the cylinder head. Next we'll remove the 10mm brass bolts holding the TCT to the cylinder head. They're located one at the bottom and one behind. Uh, just below the VTEC solenoid. Once you're done removing the bolts, try to see if you can remove it manually by pulling on it. If you cannot, use the 8mm hex socket to remove the maintenance cover on the cylinder head to get access to the TCT and then using a flathead screwdriver stick it in and pop it out now we sexually remove the tct from the cylinder head and we can replace it so we have the new this is the Ballad sports version of the tct which is heavy duty, it's custom aluminum. The prime reason I went with this uh, over some of the other ones, no one starting wars, is um, I could get it the next day. I ordered it and I could locally pick it up. So just to do two local pickup. A little bit of oil, brand new oil. We'll be fixing this all up. Give it a little bit of lubrication. So we're ready to install the new Ballad Sports uh, TCT into the cylinder head. Now it does go one way. So if you do get it, it won't fit on the first try. Just rotate it 180 degrees and you should be fine. So let's get started uh, it. Gently put back the TCT into the cylinder head and gently push it in. Now let's put back the two screws into this um, aluminum cylinder head. Make sure you tie them gently since it is an aluminum head and we do not want to damage it. Once we're done, we're going to torque it down to 8.7 pounds per foot or 12 newton meters the next step is to remove the wing nut from the Ballad T 
TCT and then remove the 5 by 0.8 millimeter screw using an 8 millimeter socket or a wrench in my case. Now we are going to reinstall the banjo bolt and torque it down to 4 foot pounds or 5 newton meters. As you saw, the banjo bolt has a little hole that allows the oil to flow back and forth. Now we are going to put back the cover onto the TCT. This will use the remaining two bolts, which are uh, socket size 10. We'll screw them back uh, in. And once we are ready, we will torque them down to 8.7 pounds per foot or 12 newton meters. Let's now reinstall the maintenance bolt with a brand new crush washer. This is the same size as your 19 mil um, oil pen <laughs> bolt. Once we're done, let's proceed to torquing it to 22 foot pounds or 19 newton meters. It's clean up time and let's get ready to put everything back together. Getting to the final steps, we are now going to reinstall the air box back into the car. I will post a link to a full detailed video on how to reinstall the air box. If you like so far the videos uh, you have seen, please be sure to like and subscribe. And if you don't like it, put a comment in. Tell me why you don't like it and uh, where we could uh, improve. Now that we have put everything back together, let's start the car and make sure there's nothing wrong with it. And then we could go to my favorite part, this to enjoy the test drive. And thank you for watching. And if you have any ideas for any other tutorials or DIYs on the S2000 or any 